Dear all, warm welcome to the Tax Upper channel. In this series of videos, we are going to validate your knowledge of Oracle integration. So in the series of videos, we have different, different set of questions. And these questions are multiple questions, which will validate how much knowledge do you keep on Oracle integration? So let's begin the show and be with us till the end of this video. And before we start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. So let's begin. Now, the first question is, what type of certificates you can upload from the certificate screen under settings section. So the options are trust. These are this is a uh, multiple choice questions, and you can choose multiple options if applicable. Trust, identity, message protection, and PGP. So what are the valid options what are the valid type of certificates which you can upload from the certificate screen under settings section now if you don't know just quickly go to the open your oracle integration go to the settings go to the certificate and see what all types of certificates you can upload and then accordingly choose the correct answer so let's see how many of you have know the correct answer. So see what are the correct answers. Trust, identity and message protection. So these are the three types of certificates that you can upload under the certificate screen from the settings option. Okay, so let's go to the second question. The second question is how much space the file server offers? So in Oracle integration, there's a feature of file server, which is used to read and write the files without having the separate FTP. I hope you guys have worked upon the file server. So let's see what are the options of it. 500 GB, 50 GB, 100 GB, and 1000 GB. How much space Oracle integration file server offers. If you don't know, you can simply go to the file server, the settings option where you will find out the total space that Oracle integration offers as part of the file server and see how much it is. If you know, please let us know the correct answer. Now let's see what is the correct answer. The correct answer is 500 GB. Oracle offers 500 GB space absolutely free, which you can utilize to, to achieve your integration, which are file-based. Okay, now let's get into the third question. The third question, what all integration connectors are available under Process Cloud? Choose multiple if applicable. So there are various options that I will present in front of you guys and you need to choose the multiple if applicable. And this question is related to the process cloud. So see what are the options. Integration, REST, JSON, and web service. If you don't know the answer, you can go to the process cloud. You can create one process applications, go to the integrations navigation and see what type of connectors you can create just to validate the answer. If you know, let us know the answer in the comment section. But let's see what are the correct answers of this question. The correct answers are integration, REST and web service. So these type of questions comes also in the certificate, which will help you to clear your certificate as well. Okay, now let's get into the next question. The fourth question is like this, which expression can you use to schedule 
integration run so i hope everybody have developed the schedule integration and you guys have scheduled as well there are multiple options to define the frequency but what is the expression that you use to schedule the integration here are the options javascript xslt ikel and xpath if you don't know the correct answer you can go to your schedule integration you click on the actions menu of the schedule go to the schedule and see what is the options available and the answer is ikel ikel is the correct answer ikel is used to schedule the integration okay now let's get into the third fifth question the fifth question is which three are valid oracle integration cloud roles so when you create a oracle integration instance there are various applications roles which will be provisioned along with the instance and depending on the type of user you provide the roles to the users so what are the valid roles so here are the options service deployer service implementer service user service administrator so you can choose multiple if you don't know the answer you can go to the idcs console of oci you can open your instance and then you will find out the valid application roles there so what are the correct answer i hope you know but let's see and check your knowledge the correct answers are service deployer service user and service administrator these are the valid roles apart from these three there are various other roles as well of oracle integration service implementer is not the correct answer okay let's get into the next question the next question is like this what is the limit of download operation of the ftp adapter so when you use the ftp adapter that ftp adapter will have multiple operations and one of the operation is download when we generally use the download operation because of ftp adapter will have some limitation so again download operation will have some limitation but what is the limit so the options are 10 mb 50 mb 500 mb or 1 gb if you don't know the answer you can find out on the google or service limits of oracle integration and you will find out the answer do you know the answer okay now let's see what is the correct answer the correct answer is 1 gb so in gen 3 or gen 2 the read a file and write a file has a limitation of 50 mb let's suppose we have a file which is there on the ftp which is greater than of 50 mb and we need to read that file so instead of using a read file operation first of all we use the download file operation and then only we read the file into the chunks okay let's get into the next question the next question is what are the four key features of oracle integration cloud enterprise version the answers the options are application integration enterprise service bus process cloud integration insights b2b what are the key features of oracle integration if you don't know you can log in into the oic home page you go to the navigation and you will find out the navigations related to the features so what are the correct answers the correct answers are application integration process cloud integration insights b2b enterprise service bus is not the feature of oracle integration okay now let's get into the next question which function is used to refer the lookup 
in the integration during design time. So lookup, we know, we use lookup to map the different values used in the different application. And we use lookup very extensively in the integration. So maybe you have also used the lookup. So, but what is the function you use to refer the lookup? Here are the options. Lookup, lookup value, use lookup, refer lookup. What is the correct answer? If you don't know the correct answer, you can open any one of the integration, open the mapper or the assign action, and you will try to find out all the, all the functions which are mentioned here and see what function do you find in the Oracle integration. You know now? Yes. So the correct answer is lookup value. Lookup value is the correct answer. Lookup value is the function which is used to refer the lookup. Okay, now let's get into the next question. The next question is how many arguments the lookup value function accept? So when you use the lookup value function, you have to provide the arguments, input arguments. So every function will have some input and output. So if you don't know the correct answer, you can try to use the lookup value and see how many arguments that lookup value function takes. So here are the options. Three, six, five, or two. Do you know? If you don't know, here's the correct answer. The correct answer is five. Okay, now let's get into the next question. The next question is, which operation is not supported by the stage file activity? So in Oracle integration, we have a very important action or activity called stage. So in that stage, there are various operations available. If you don't know the correct answer, you can open any one of the integration and drop the stage file action and go to the operations screen and see what are the valid operations. Now, let's see what are the options that we do have. Unzip file, read entire file, delete file, read file in segments, zip file. So what operation you don't see in the stage file? I hope you know the answer now. The correct answer is delete file. Delete file is not the operation in the stage file. So these are the 10 questions just to validate on your or of your Oracle integration knowledge. So be with us and we are going to release a second part of this series, which will have another set of questions, which will validate your Oracle integration knowledge. So please wait and see my, my videos. So if you would like to view, if you would like to be notified when our new video release, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. You can follow me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.